Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn the addition rule of probability. We are going to look at the addition rule for mutually exclusive events as well as for non-mutually exclusive events. So stay tuned. The addition rule of probability is used for probability of combined events where the joining word is all. First, let's look at non-mutually exclusive events. When we are looking for the probability of A or B, it is represented as the probability of A union B. When we look at this Venn diagram here, we can see that the green region covers A union B. And so when we want to add them separately, the addition rule states that probability of A union B will be probability of A plus probability of B. But there is a problem here because if you look carefully, what we've done is we've added this purple region twice. We've added once for A and we've added another time for B. So it can't be just probability of A plus probability of B. We have to remove the part in the middle, which is actually A intersect B. And therefore, the probability of A union B is actually the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersect B. This is for non-mutually exclusive events. When it comes to mutually exclusive events, the formula is actually exactly the same, but it can be simplified further because if you notice, A intersect B is actually an empty set. There is no A intersect B and therefore the probability of A intersect B will be zero and we can eliminate this minus A intersect B. So for mutually exclusive events, the formula can be simplified to probability of A union B is equals to the probability of A plus the probability of B. If you haven't watched the video on mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclusive events, video links at the corner. This is the same example that I used in that video. So in this sample space, we have numbers 1 to 7. We have three separate events. Event A is even numbers, 2, 4, and 6. Odd numbers, we have 1, 3, 5, and 7. And prime numbers, we have 2, 3, 5, and 7. With the Venn diagram, it is easy to find the union of the events. But let's say we didn't have the Venn diagram. Now let's say we drew a number at random from the sample space. What is the probability of finding a number that is an even number or a prime number. So in this case, we will be finding the probability of A or C, which is represented as the probability of A union C. So using the addition rule, this will be the probability of A plus C. And now we have to check whether there is A intersect C. So let's look at the outcomes of A and C. We can see that 2 belongs to both A and C. So there is an intersect that is present. So we have to subtract the intersect minus A intersect C. So let's add in the values. Without the Venn diagram, we can still figure out the probability. The probability of A will be the outcomes of A over the number of outcomes of sample space. I've gone through the formula in another video. The video links at the corner. Probability of A will be 3 out of 7 plus probability of C. Probability of C is 4 out of 7 minus probability of A intersect C. So A intersect C, we only have 2. The number 2 is present in both A and C. So A intersect C will be 1 out of 7. 1 out of 7. And so when we work this out, we get 6 out of 7. Let's check with the Venn diagram. So this is the Venn diagram. A union C is represented by the green area, all of A and all of C. So A union C has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements and the total number of elements is 7. So the probability of A union C is indeed 6 out of 7. Uh, this is an example for non-mutually exclusive events. What about mutually exclusive events? Let's say we wanted to find the probability of randomly drawing a number that is an even number or an odd number. So we will be finding the probability of A union B. And using the addition rule, 
This is the probability of A plus the probability of B. Now we have to check for intersect. So let's look at A and B. There are no common outcomes between A and B. And therefore, A intersect B is an empty set. So we don't have to worry about subtracting the intersect. Now let's find the probability of A. It is 3 out of 7. Probability of B is 4 out of 7. So the probability of A union B is 3 out of 7 plus 4 out of 7, which is 7 out of 7. And this makes sense because when we draw a number, it is bound to be either an even number or an odd number. When we check with the Venn diagram, this is A union B. And we can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 elements, so 7 out of 7. This is correct. That's it for the addition rule guys. If you haven't checked the multiplication rule, the video link is at the corner. I hope you've learned something. If you have, please do help me by hitting the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'll be producing at least one video a week. I'll see you in the next video.